Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I'd like to call upon Professor Margaret McGlynn to present Western University's Land Acknowledgement. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandaran peoples, who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the City of London. The local First Nation communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Munsee Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nations communities and a growing indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Turtle Island, also known as North America. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than a century ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Andrew Spreet and Helen Spreet. In acknowledgement of their accomplishments as passionate entrepreneurs, respected community builders, and generous philanthropists who have supported the growth and expansion of the City of London while serving as tremendous role models for the next generation of humanitarians. To present our distinguished candidates, I now call upon Dr. Soro Camaletti, Acting Principal, King's University College. Mr. Chancellor, dear graduates and guests, I invite Andy and Helen to please stand. A healthy, flourishing community relies on active and generous participation by its members. Good businesses and organizations should seek to align their business goals with objectives that build up the common good of society. The leaders of these types of exemplary businesses and organizations seek to maintain high standards, not simply for the sake of being socially responsible, but also be active contributors to promoting social justice in their respective communities. Andy and Helen Spriott are two such business and community leaders two remarkable citizens who have used their gifts, talents, and business opportunities to improve the quality of life for others and to build up the City of London and beyond. The impact of both their work and their philanthropic activities is immense. As successful business owners and generous patrons of the arts, education, and social services, Andy and Helen stand before you today as exceptional role models and the embodiment of the values of the liberal arts and kings. Mr. and Mrs. Spreert are no strangers to the hallways of Kings, and we have greatly benefited from their tireless support and unceasing belief in our mission. If you don't recognize Andy and Helen, you will certainly know their family name. After all, you've spent at least some of your time at Kings over the last number of years meeting with fellow students, professors, and friends in the Andy and Helen Spreert Learning Commons in the Student Life Center. They also served as co-chairs of the King's Student Life Campaign, and their tremendous efforts were a catalyst for raising funds to increase our student awards and to build the King's Center. 
Andy has served on the board of directors at King's and was the chair of the board and a member of the King's Foundation. Their contribution to King's have made our institution a better place to learn, research, and seek out truth for the good of all. It may not surprise you that the spirits have donated millions of dollars to a long list of causes outside of King's, always putting their name forward in an effort to inspire others to also give generously. The list of community initiatives they have supported include the Thames Valley Children's Centre, Children's Health Foundation, London Health Sciences Centre, Fowler Kennedy Sports Medicine, the Spirit Family Theatre, Original Kids, the Spirit Family Visitor Centre at Fanshawe Pioneer Village, the Spirit Family Greenhouse at Fanshawe College, August Orchestra London, the Spirit Family Children's Library, and Marymount Children's Centre, among others. They have also given of their time and talents through many volunteer efforts in London and the surrounding area, sharing their knowledge and expertise as board members for numerous organizations, including London Downtown Business Association, the Arts Project, and the Grand Theatre. They are well known in the London business community, having started and operating and operated many successful companies, including their flagship business, Spread Associates, which has been operating for more than 50 years and directly employs 26 people, including eight registered engineers. Andy and Helen, thank you for your constant support and for putting people first in every aspect of your business and philanthropy. I ask you to look out at this remarkable group of fellow graduates and see before you the change makers who are prepared to champion the common good and follow your exceptional example. Graduates, take a close look at the two remarkable individuals before you. Andy and Helen are models of good citizenship because their implicit goal is to always leave a project, an organization, and a community better off than when they arrived. Your final challenge from King's is for you to embody the same great outlook and set of values. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I am delighted to ask you to confer the degrees of Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Andy and Helen Spriot. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you, Helen Spriot, to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. I admit you, Andrew Spreet, to the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Doctors Spreet. Congratulations, well done. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumni, Dr. Andrew Sprite and Dr. Helen Spreet, to address convocation. Chancellor, honored guests, faculty, graduating students, relatives and friends. 
<clears throat> Helen and I are delighted to receive an honorary Doctor of Laws degrees from Western University. To, to receive such an honor from one of Canada's great universities is a special pleasure for us. Our oldest son, Paul, is a graduate of Western, and we are now in our 80s. And if age is a requirement, we are definitely qualified. <laughs> we were informed that most, if all, not all, of the graduating classes are from King's University College at Western, <clears throat> which to us is very appropriate. I was fortunate to have been a board member of King's for 10 years, two years as chairman. My most positive impression of King's was that it was a fiscally well-run institution with a mandate for social justice and human development. We were so impressed that Helen and I sponsored the Learning Commons in the new Student Life Center. It is so appealing it even has its own Tim Hortons concession. <laughs> King's provides a great student life experience. How do we know? Because our oldest grandson, a graduate of King's, told us so. As you will have concluded, we have decided that I would address the convocation for both Helen and I. Who are we and where did we come from? Helen and I are both products of southwestern Ontario from an area known as the Tobacco District <clears throat> surrounding the towns of Tilsonburg, Delhi, and Simcoe. We were both tobacco farmers' uh, children, and both our parents had immigrated from Belgium in the late 20s and early 30s. I graduated from Tilsonburg High School and went on to Queen's University graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering in 1957. Helen graduated from Delhi High School in Commercial Studies and then joined the Bank of Montreal. She later went to Queens as my bride when I was in my final year. And she graduated with a PhD, putting hubby through. This month, on June 28th, Helen and I will be celebrating 62 years of marriage. <clears throat> if someone would ask us about our marriage and relationship over the 62 years, Helen and I would describe the experience as one of pure joy. I should get Helen's input on this. Helen, what do you say? I think you told me to say amen. <laughs> she says amen. <laughs> of course, she didn't say the old guy is getting awfully hard of hearing, which is adding a new and important dimension. Everyone needs to listen to and hear their spouse. We produced three children, Paul, the Western graduate, Nicole, Jeffrey and Jeffrey, who all married nice people. They each produced three delightful grandchildren. Two of our grandchildren are now married, and our oldest grandson, Jarrett, and his wife, Nicole, have provided us with our first great-grandchild. You could conclude that we're big on family. Now that you are up to date on family, we hope to offer you some meaningful words of wisdom as you go out into the world to live your life. When I think back on our lives and careers, one theme seems to run through our life and business successes. And that is, adversity provides opportunity. Adversity upsets the status quo and calls for action. To illustrate, I will take you to a few events in our lives. When I graduated in 1957, I obtained a good job in Toronto with Abbott Tibby Power and Paper. We bought a house, had our first child, Paul, and settled in. 
I, work, I love the work and the people, but a serious slump in the paper industry caused Abitibi to lay off much of its engineering staff. And on the third layoff, I was out of a job. Adversity. I found a job at reduced pay at Shell Industries in Woodstock, but six, six months later, I joined a consulting firm, S.G. Chipman and Company, in London in 1959, where I was asked to design trunk sewers and a sewage plant for a new northern electric plant to be built in the city of London. Somehow, that was a long time ago. The new plant was built, utilized, but that plant has now been torn down. I loved the work, and the owner of the firm was great to work for, yet he had personal, marital, and business problems disturbing him such that the firm ran out of work. It got to the point that I was owed three and a half months wages. Adversity again had reared its ugly head. I made the brilliant deduction that if I was going to work and not get paid, that I should work for myself. <laughs> so in 1961, I started the firm Spreed Associates, providing engineering services to the London area. As a farmer's son, we had a half a cow in the freezer, and we were on our way. Income the first six months was $500, but by the end of the year, we were very successful. Helen was my first secretary, answering the phone, typing drainage reports, making her own clothes, and being a wife and mother. Had Mr. Chipman not had his difficulties, I would have gladly continued to work at his firm rather than striking out on my own, because I was very comfortable there and being very well paid. Spreed Associates Engineers and Architects is still my business home today. The success of Spreed Associates funded many interests in many other businesses. In 1976, when design-build firms were coming to the fore, they were taking away important opportunities for our, from our consulting firm. Perhaps it could be described as a, an adversity in business. I started Norlon Builders as a design-build firm. Today it is a medium-sized construction company providing construction services to Western and throughout Ontario. It is prosperous and well-regarded. Again, adversity bringing opportunity. Perhaps the biggest example is the Vitex story. In 1962, I started London Building Products, a home improvement firm, the successor of which expanded with branches to serve all of Ontario and eventually became known as Andon Vinyl Products and the Andon Corporation. The introduction of vinyl siding by Andon's sales force triggered the building of a vinyl siding manufacturing plant in London, Ontario. It was originally called Mastic Manufacturing and subsequently changed its name to Vitec Corporation. The story is much too involved to give you all the details. However, in 1989 to 1990, Vitec Corporation was struggling. And in 1989-90, it lost $1.6 million. The bank was very concerned and looked at the possibility of shutting Vitec down. They asked for more security. Vitec employed about 200 people, selling our products in Canada, the US, and also throughout outlets in Australia and New Zealand. The general business slump of the late 80s and early 90s was a horrible time for 200 people to lose their jobs. Serious decisions needed to be made. Adversity at its finest. After I provided $2 million additional security, they allowed us to carry on. We did have a couple of sleepless nights. Talk about adversity. We had many great employees, a great product, and encouraging sales in the, in the US. A decision was made to release our top two executives, a longtime general manager and the sales manager. Severance payment to them 
to, to the two of them was substantial, as well as payment for the feasibility studies required from the bank, increased bank fees, lawyer fees, etc. The list goes on. We decided to run with the remaining personnel and business took off with profits for the next five years in the millions. In 1995, a suitor came along with an offer you couldn't refuse and the firm was sold. And thinking back, our concern for our people was a driving force in making our decision. Someone might describe it as being charitable. It is often said that the value one gives to charity comes back in many ways tenfold. In our case, our concern for our people was a major ingredient in our decision to put up an additional $2 million. The return on that $2 million five years later was more than 20 to 1. Almost unbelievable. I seem to have lost the page. <laughs> In going through the three important ingredients, going through life, there are th three important ingredients. There are love, hope, charity. Love is the greatest. Always have hope, but never forget charity. I repeat again, adversity brings opportunity. Helen, after looking after the needs of her husband and three active kids as a stay-at-home mom, had an interest in fine furniture and decorating. She and her sister Joyce started the Common Market, a fine furniture store which they operated for many years. In 1987, we decided to divide up our common business interests with Joyce, her sister, and her husband, Denny. As a result, Helen was out of a job. She tried to play the role of a lady of leisure playing tennis, golf, etc., And compared to business, she found it boring and depressing. To alleviate the problem, Helen and Sandra Schuster opened a small exclusive shop called Yorkville Interiors, selling drapery, wallpaper, and fine furniture. Again, adversity turned into action, which turned into opportunity. Helen enjoyed her career as a proprietor of the very elegant Yorkville interiors. Helen closed her shop when she turned 75, and now her main function is being our social director. I have other examples of adversity brings opportunity, but in my life, I think you get the message. Adversity gets you out of your comfort zone and stirs action. Action brings the possibility of positive results, and the rest is up to you. Now that have you, you have completed your university courses, you are somewhat educated and receiving degrees. You now need to find meaningful employment or a purpose in life that pays its way. It does not appear to be easy these days, but many opportunities exist, many probably unknown. Follow your dreams and find something you like to do. Work is then not work, but a pleasure, and you won't work a day in your life. You know, I bounced into the office one day, full of life and energy, and someone related an incident that totally and instantly depressed me, such that I felt badly all day. Physically, I have not changed. I was disturbed, yet the only change was in my mind. Don't worry, be happy, as the saying goes. Employers love happy and enthusiastic people. Remember that happiness is a state of mind. Don't worry, be happy. Many of you will find meaning in meaningful employment in the ever-increasing civil service or quasi-civil service teaching, policing, healthcare, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Pay is reasonably good and the benefits are generous. The others will need to find employment in the private sector with all its variable pains and successes. 
potential for great financial success lies in the private sector. It is also the one which has the most adversity. Personal success, of course, is not dependent on money. We all have a role to play and define our niche in this world. You know, it's only fitting that Helen should have the last word. She was impressed by what someone said to another graduating class, and she would like me to repeat it for you. Keep changing the world. You are not the future, you are the present. Take ownership of your country. It's your watch now. Helen and I wish you every success in all facets of your life. There is a big, wide, exciting world out there. It is yours to enjoy, experience and enjoy. Thank you for listening and good luck. Thank you, Callan and Andy, for sharing your insights and wisdoms from your life's journey. As local entrepreneurs, philanthropists, community builders, and volunteers, you have contributed greatly to the growth and expansion of the City of London. You have supported King's College and Western generously. As supporters of the arts, health, care, and education, you have also helped transform the lives of many young people who have benefited from your generous support. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating Weston's newest honorary Doctor of Laws, Dr. Andrew Spirit and Dr. Helen Spirit. At this time, I take pleasure in asking Associate Academic Dean Joseph Michaliski to present a distinguished colleague who is recipient of the King's, Col King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching by Full-Time Faculty. Mr. Chancellor, I invite Dr. Rick Cernick to please stand. Dr. Siernik is a professor of social work and an exemplary teacher-scholar who effectively combines prolific scholarship with sustained, dynamic, and impactful instruction. His courses on addiction, group work, research, and applied social work practice are about critical thinking, about intentionally pushing his students creatively, theoretically, and practically and about ensuring that the thousands of lives they will touch as social workers are well served. His current students describe him as amazing, <laughs> transformative, supportive, and memorable. His past students populate social work agencies and teaching positions across the province. Their testimonials are innumerable and speak to the great many social work skills that he's imparted through his lectures, mentorship, and books. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Dr. Rick Siernick for the King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching by full-time faculty. Mr. Chancellor, I invite Professor Kerry Arnold to please stand. <laughs> Professor Arnold's pedagogical framework reflects her extraordinary clinical experience and theoretical knowledge related to grief, loss, and bereavement, and focuses on building relationships. She's described by her students as caring, genuine, passionate, knowledgeable, professional, and committed. In their view, she far exceeds expectations and conveys difficult concepts 
using a style that's personally stimulating and professionally appropriate. Her lectures are always well thought out, structured, impactful, and designed to maximize student engagement. A former student writes, great teachers do not simply instruct, but help those around them to grow and develop. Carrie not only makes me a better instructor, but makes me a better person, end quote. This sentiment is shared by many who have come to know her, and we're delighted that she's going to be joining us full time in July. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Professor Carrie Arnold for the King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching by part-time faculty. Sorry, folks. I take pleasure in asking Associate Academic Dean Joseph Michaliski to present to convocation our newly appointed emeritus professors. Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who successfully completed their academic programs at Western. Uh, I ask you to admit them to their degrees, diplomas, and so forth. And by way of the Senate, they've recommended for the university the following acknowledgement. I am particularly honored, Mr. Chancellor, first to invite Dr. Ryakovsky to please stand. Dr. Kosky has been an accomplished author publishing and editing works on French-Canadian literature, while also conducting research on First Nation women writers in Quebec. She's been a perennial favorite among King's students, regularly appearing on the King's Honor Roll for Excellence in Teaching, and winning the 2008 King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching. Finally, she has also served multiple stints as the coordinator of the King's French program. Mr. Chancellor, for distinguished service to the Academy and to the University, I, prevent, I present to you Professor Emeritus Dr. Raya Kosky. Mr. Chancellor, I invite Dr. David McGregor to please stand. Dr. David McGregor joined the faculty at King's in 1978. Dr. McGregor has authored several books on Hegel and Marx, as well as conducted numerous research projects on diverse topics such as state terrorism, automobiles, mandatory retirement, and sociology of film. A world-renowned scholar, he received the Canadian Sociology Association's John Porter Award for Outstanding Scholarship in 1985. He has inspired countless students with his teaching, winning the 2005 King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching. And he was the longest serving chair of the Department of Sociology during his tenure at King's. Mr. Chancellor, for distinguished service to the Academy and the University, I present to you Professor Emeritus, Dr. David McGregor. Mr. Chancellor, I invite Dr. Alan Pomfret to please stand.
Dr. Alan Pomfret joined the faculty at King's in 1978. Dr. Pomfret has been involved in numerous research projects centered on the research design and the sociology of education, worked with many professional organizations, has chaired the departments of sociology and interdisciplinary programs, founded and coordinated the Childhood and Social Institutions Program, chaired the Faculty Association, and established student exchange programs with parallel programs at the Universities of Malmo in Sweden and Winchester in the UK. Mr. Chancellor, for distinguished service to the Academy and the University, I present to you Professor Emeritus Dr. Alan Pomfret. The candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates, please rise. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, and distinguished guests. Convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today we honor those graduating students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Western's affiliated colleges, Brescia University College, Huron University College, and King's University College bring a special dimension to the undergraduate experience at Western. They provide a liberal arts college community environment within the context of a large research university. Their faculty and students have access to all the resources that a university the scale of Western can provide, while enabling them to sustain the academic and social community fostered by their own distinct identities. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Western Alumni. That numbers more than 293,000 alumni living in over 150 different countries around the world. Mr. Hani Hassan is here representing our Alumni Association, and I'd ask him to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we are pleased to have with us Mr. Matthew Wilson, representing our Board of Governors, and I'll ask him to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Though affiliated with Western, each of the colleges have autonomous governing boards. We are pleased to have with us today Dr. Kelly Regan, Chair of the Board of Directors for King's University College and I would ask her to please stand and be recognized. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, friends, and relatives of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. 
I ask that our graduating students rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. Now we're going to proceed with the granting of degrees and diplomas. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First. As a courtesy to all graduates and their families, please hold your applause until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. This will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. Second, we know that photographs are important for graduates, their families, and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photo of this special location. Therefore, we ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony, and of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from King's University College for the degree Bachelor of Arts Honours Programs. Liana Abdel Kalik, Brayden Alexander Adsit, Julia Lea Agostino. Floranda Ahmed Agroom, Deshaun Anderson, Shirag Aurora. Matthew Jacob Atkinson. Desiree Danielle Obey, Antonella Christina Bacara. Medina Badrick, Marlon Batras. Matthias Florian Berkepeck. Alexandra Taylor Bolton, 
Nellie Christine Buqua Lossald, Chiara Alexandra Boyd, Laura Brady, Caitlin Jean Browning, Dylan Birch. Carissa Taylor Butt. Jasmine Kabigas, Dominika Olivia Korostetsky. Caitlin Kaylee Turner Chikanowicz, Nicole Collins, Sarah Nicole Ruchan Crittenden. Dawn Cronin, Catherine Andalusia, Gerilyn Debus. Jared Do John Drennan, Laura Grace Dungo, Emily Nicole Dyer. Hosni Alfara, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda Jane fed you. Xiao Zhan Feng. <laughs> Christopher Alex Fernandez. Caitlin Victoria Field, Liam Ivan Flattery. Samantha Rebecca Foster, Laura Alexandria Fraser, Tracy Julie Beth Garcia. Lauren Natalie Garrison, Jillian Elise Gaskin, Sarah Elizabeth Gurton. Dominique Nadine Valdivia Godoy, Devon Goyo, Megan Danielle Grimes. Gabrielle Lauren Guizzo, Alba Gucia, Kylie Jade Hamilton. Heba Hamu, 
Amanda Victoria Marie Haney, Ryan Stephen Hanna. Amy Elizabeth Herrera, Natalie Beverly Hill, Olivia Hofstumer. <laughs> Lindsay Amy Hogan, Aisha Valerie Husseini, Hillary Sarah Husted. Emma Yuan Huao Hutchinson, Hanadi Salah Ibrahim, Haley Jones. Jessica Ashley Ann Jones, Joseph Kahenga, Melissa Elizabeth Kennis. Uh oh. <laughs> Nadir Kalaf. Violet Kamad, Susanna Khan. Nicholas Christian Costu, Kristen Margaret Kovacs, Alexandra Rachel Kramer. Jovana Krasovich, Thomas Krasowicz, Ashley Valerie Kowarsiak. Emma Brianne Lucole, Leandra Jordan Leyland, Noah Andrew McDonald. Azar Madhani, Sharon Martin, Justin Ryan Matthews. <laughs> Natalie McDougall, Michelle Emily McKegney, Sean David McKenzie. Nicole Marie McKernan, Joshua Matthew McClellan, Melissa McManus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large degree group and the excitement seems to be building, so this seems like a good moment for a round of applause for those who've crossed the stage.
Natasha McMillan, Alexandra Anna Madawi, Michael Jeffrey Miazga. Jessica Erna Michel, Mercedes Verbin Miller, Olivia Ray Mills. Jacqueline Danielle Molika. Melissa Medeiros Moniz, Alessandro Muya. Michael Murphy, Lydia Nicole Murray, Shaquille Imtiaz Nathu. Andrew Newman, Andrew John Nori, Eldon Dino Omarovich. Kristen Pern, Kelsey Alexandra Pearson. Alessandro Vincent Pekka. <laughs> Chanel Elizabeth Pendley Oseni, Diana Pernokas, Michaela Pet. Sydney Autumn Phillips, Christopher Elliott Plimmer, Mackenzie Ray Pukitz. <laughs> Brenna Marie Pospoki, Linghart Ramos, Holly Nicole Reed. <laughs> Alexandra Michalina Roerink. Danielle Caitlin Rivest. Emily Francis Rudell. Marissa Margaret Ryan, Phoebe Elizabeth Samuelson, Stephen Sarter. <laughs> Callie Schaefer, Madeline Seal, Eric Shepherd. Rebecca Cabeta Shafaro. Nakmada Roya Simon. 
Megan Elizabeth Small. Jennifer Morgan Smith. Rebecca Maria Ferlot Sousa. Celan Sortino. Nicole Ann Speakman. Jessica Elise Stalker, Marina Starfus, <laughs> Hillary Elizabeth Stewart, Ellen Tarishin, Maria, Maria Elizabeth Theocaris. Michaela Elizabeth Terrien, Shannon Thomas, Holly Christine Thompson. Mm -hmm. Megan Tobin, Bradley Alexander Turner. Carly Nicole Tustin. Okay. Brooke Van Prayet. Yurka Rebecca Vanderpool. Jessica Ann Vieira. Vieira. Tracy Michelle Vink, Sylvia Teresa Weck, Kieran, Kieran Joshua Weichis. Sarah Mary White, Stephanie Marie Rose Wilkinson, Alexander John Wood Balsam. Shining Yu, Alessia Lauren Zonta, Devin Rosemarie Zordiger. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies Honors Program. Abdulrahman al dakak Jacob Raymond David Oberton, Eleanor Ann Bart Bailey. Matthew Craig Bowden, Brandon Antonio Consorti, Ross James Joseph Enright.
Rohan Gomes, Yu Yu Guo, Ashley McDonald. Andrew McNeil, Michael Stephen Nemchek, Cindy T. Nguyen. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but we would ask that you allow the orator's name to say the name clearly before you express your joy. Thank you. Michael Karl Nichov, Paula Marie Okalson, Kather Ibrahim Kadir Aka, Maria Gabriela Rojas, Lisa Bernice Shales. Jesse Sims. <laughs> Devin James Stone. Nicholas John Von Wuthenau. Harris Zelkovich. Let loose the love, show the love. <laughs> Jing Zhang, Christopher Zinn. That's the Moss group. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Social Work Honors. <laughs> Alexandra Athanasio, Sophie Leone Camila Oje, Natalie Peeler. Mackenzie Berthiom, Carson Lee Buckner Duby, Sandra Burns. Carlos Buscherelli, Leah Carrier, Jessica Elizabeth Carroll. Molly Clark, Colleen Dolliver, Kelly Noreen Garris. Haley Gray, Brian Webster. Hillary Danielle Hartwig. <laughs> Catherine Emily Hastings. Kayla Ann Horenberg. Sandra Howe.
Jennifer Robin Hunter, Carolyn Grace Kerr, Holly Lausen. David Philip Lavoie, Giovanna Loper, Kayla Marie Little. Alice Malot, Brittany Alexandra McClay. Emily Ann McLaughlin. Jordan McCormick, Sophie Elizabeth McDonald, Martha Jane McDougall. Jacqueline Colleen Elizabeth Nanskeville, Jennifer Renita Nixon, Mi Michaela Marie Paquette Newton. Jennifer Berra, Rebecca Lynn Peter, Lisa Pierce. Brianna Kathleen Power, Kasha Price, Margaret Purdy. Josephine Runstedler, Mariana Salazar Vargas. Julia Taylor. Doris Day Dam. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts for your degree program. Virginia Allen, Sarah Al-Sali, Spencer Andrews. Jacqueline Angus, Riley Bello, Natasha Elizabeth Berkelmans. Gurmeet. Singh Bala, Atabik Afzal Bati, Kelly Suzanne Breckenridge.
Devin Michael Brine, Shannon Brooks, Sarah Elizabeth Brown. Nicole Brown Dugan, Cole Alexander Bryson, Sarah Rachel Carter. Laura Chapel. Cheryl Chen, Alexis Teresa Christie. Marshall Peter Sino, Kelly Cipriani, Jasmine Raven Colebrook. Matthew Hayden Cormier, Sarah Coots. Chelsea May Cruzocrio. <laughs> Stephen Joseph DeBacker, Claire Francis Dennis. Natasha Maria Phyllis DeMello. Christina Nancy Maria Donati. Giovanni Doria. Kirby Downey. Mark Reginald D'Souza, Dina Elayek, Andrew Esser. Michael Anthony Redmond Fernandez, Kaylin Megan Fitzgerald, Brenda Fogelton. Patrick Thomas Folta, Kashindi Heri Francis, <laughs> Kiana Alicia Gillen, Ulysses Gonzalez, Sanjan Gupta, Aisha Jade Hall.
Yujian Han, Courtney Harkis, Jenna Nicole Horth. Mei Ling Hu, Shan Huang, Vanessa Marie Huggins. Brittany Irwin, David William Jack. Natalia Yendrichko. Rebecca Nicole Jefferson. Mayank Joshi. Prabjo Kar. Taranjit Carr, Nicole, Nicole Lianza Kirkpatrick, Jemis King Chung Lao. Vanessa Lee, Ma Ma Matthew Anthony Lenz. Julia Lopera. Yilong Luo. Victoria Lu. Sinan Ma. Cameron David McDonald, Morgan Natalie McDonald, Anthony Nicholas Macracos. Leah Chantel Marcosia, Sarah Seychelle Basel Masri, Clevis Mazraku. Taylor Ann McFadden. Kelsey Ann Iris McGrath, Hannah Sullivan McGregor. Aaron Taylor McMurray, Rosaf Miftari. McCartney Lois Miller. <laughs> David Lorenzo Monaco. Brittany Victoria Moret. Robert Monroe.
Felix Nguyen, Vincent Noon, Miriam Okhom Otobo. Yuhan Pan, Larissa Pandu, Aparajita Patria. Connor Pierotti, Sean Penida, Wengang Chi. Juan Ramirez. Alexandra Lauren Ransom, Laura Magdalena Rees. Michaela Ann Rigg. Taylor Anastasia Joanne Sakelis, Satyam Sharma. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take advantage of the change of orators to let off some steam and have a round of applause for those who have caused the right. Jennifer Lynn Slade, Vincenzo Suave, Brandon Souza, <laughs> Holly Spence, Travis Wellesley Stallard. Bonnie Patricia Stocking. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Tisdale. Grace Tuma. Oksana Tsitkotska. Andrea Valencia, Brent Nicholas Van Osh, Laura Vanstone. Christian. Isaac Vetro, Adrian Abigail Lil Warmington, Keisha Renee Wickens. <laughs> Tessa Annette Wilkins. 
Miranda Wilslade, Palmer Wisniewski, Wisniewski. Cheryl Ann Wittick, Michael James Wong, Cassandra Leslie Woodcock. Yu Tong Wu, Basin Yakub, Andy Yang. Lin Yu Yang. Yu Jing Yang, Yue Ying. Wei Zhang, Long Zhang. Hao Zhen. Okay. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies. Leo Raman Aul, Bashra Bate, Erin Laura Bell. Robert Jonathan Bierbaum. Luke Michael Burren, Adam Camacho. Okay. Fadius Anthony Gorski the Third, Matthew James Gruninger and David Haggerty. Shre Han, Alicia Emily Hetwer, Michael Philip Hintz. Kelly Marie Irish, Bo Wei Tiang, Corbin Tyler Johnston. Faris Joannis, Felipe Kling, Jacob Poshan Kozak. Okay. 
Oksana Rose Lashuk, Tyler James Lorindo, Dong Hoon Lee. Robert John Policello, Amanda Christina Sanchez, Joanne Selim. Parjot Sidhu, Calvin Simonis, uh, Devin Robert Spence. Thomas Sumter, Benjamin Jacob Terpstra, Jennifer Tran. Yao Zhao. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Mohammed Al Shrani, Nicole Bagania, Avery Budai, Budai. Thank you. Lauren Amanda Boston. Kenneth Breen. Marlon Brown. <laughs> Liam Ryan Carson, Jorge Castellano, Sin Hang Sam Chan. <laughs> Sin Yi Cynthia Chan. Li Ying Chen, Lu Chen. <laughs> Nikki Clark, Emily Connor, Denise Joy Cook. Catherine Elizabeth Cook, Catherine Cope, Carmen Nicholas Costanzo. Isabel Dominguez, 
Leila Mohamed Dore, Ariel Dubisset Boris. Megan Elizabeth Ellerby, Catherine Genevieve Fazio, Fraser Fleming. <laughs> Lin Tin Gay. Jessica Gilbert, Amanda Graham. <laughs> Juliana Gutierrez Silva, Andrew Hickey, Kelly Hill. Mary Huigdonk, Abby Rose Linnea Jack, Aaron Jarvis. Manpreet Kaul, Jessica Ann Lavoge, and Shane Lozon. Braden Wallace McKay, Paul McCool, Robert Patrick McKeever. Jane Nan, Justin Matthew Newton McManus, Yara Rawashta. Okay. Justin Robert Ranges. Matthew Robert Sawyer, Robin Bailey Scott. <laughs> Elizabeth Spotton. Lucia Sukuki, Michael Tasker. <laughs> Michaela Telsho, Soria Janine Greganda Tenorio, George Matthew Siampas. <laughs> Anne 
Ashley Bridget Valentini, Kayleen Van Boven, Jamie Van Vliet. Alexandra Fristi, Eric Watkinson, Hannah Lillian Joy Wiseman. Fraser Withers, Yi Yao. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the Certificate in Loss, Grief, and Bereavement Studies. Brian Leslie Price. Ever Taylor. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the Graduate Diploma in Accounting. Jocelyn King Yui Lao. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Mr. Hani Hassan, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. My fellow graduates, it is my great honor on behalf of Western's Alumni Association to congratulate you and to welcome you. You've worked hard to complete your studies and examinations, and today you received your well-earned degrees. Western, our faculties and affiliated colleges are very proud of its world-class standing, and we know you, you share that pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now all of you are joining our global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience, our cherished memories of our times here, particularly of the knowledge and the friendships gained. You'll find your Western experience continues as alumni, and I encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating actively as alumni, cultivating the strength and global reputation of our alma mater, to you, your friends and families, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today. And remember, wherever life takes you, Western will always be home.
Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have participated in the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.